is up guys welcome back to this week's edition of the marvel mingle and as always we will be discussing all things going on in the marvel cinematic universe now last week obviously tragedy struck within the uh, marvel community and in modern culture in general um, chadwick boseman touched so many lives and today um, along with some other news we will be going into what his death means for the future of the Black Panther character in this world of Wakanda that has been introduced in the MCU. So let's start with our other news first. First we're going to take a look at this newly released Captain Marvel concept art which in the background seemingly shows us MODOK. Now Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. actually wanted to use MODOK in their final season but Marvel Studios did not let them because they wanted to use the character, which I, I believe we will see MODOK um, in the next few years at some point. Not sure what he would show up in or to what capacity, but that could be a Captain Marvel 2 thing unless there's a Secret Invasion storyline. What do you guys think MODOK is going to debut in the MCU in? Now we are seeing that a lot of productions are starting to relaunch filming. In fact, Natalie Portman has landed in Australia to begin filming Thor, Love, and Thunder. We also know that Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is rumored to begin filming in the UK this November, which in that film we are now hearing. Rumor has it that Wiccan and Speed will show up in WandaVision, which it does look like that because we did get the shot of the two baby carriages, apparently. And apparently. They will be making their MCU film debut in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now we know that WandaVision will connect directly to this film, so it only makes sense if with Scarlet Witch comes Wiccan and Speed, especially if they're being introduced in WandaVision. We're also hearing that yet another Sony Pictures solo Spider-Man character film is in the works. But this time, it is supposed to be a series, a live action series focused on the character Silk. Phil Lord and Chris Miller will act as executive producers alongside Amy Pascal. We're seeing that Amazon is reportedly the front runner in the distribution rights for the project. And seeing that Adrian Toomes' Vulture will be in Morbius, we're already seeing that Sony is now trying to cross over their characters with MCU Spider-Man characters. We will probably see Tom Holland cross over with those characters at some given point, which I've already given my opinion on this in past episodes. They shouldn't have branched off and made their own films. They should have instead worked on expanding the already established Spider-Man world inside the MCU that Homecoming and Far From Home has begun to create so well. And one thing is, they already introduced uh, an Asian character in Spider-Man Homecoming, her name was Cindy, and she was one of the students at Midtown High. Now, that is supposed to be Silk, um, but she was not in Far From Home, maybe proving that she did not get snapped and that she's instead long graduated. We also got another rumor that Marvel Studios has reportedly hired Bad Boys for Life directors Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fawa, I really hope that I didn't butcher those names, to direct episodes of the Miss Marvel Kamala Khan Disney Plus series. Now that'd be pretty cool. We don't know a lot about that yet, but we do know that Kamala Khan will be making her debut in some sort of other MCU project. And I talked about that a few episodes back, so go ahead and check that. I talked about Captain Marvel or maybe She-Hulk, what property she may show up in before her own series. And now, guys, we will discuss Chadwick Boseman once again. Last week, we took time to reflect on his death and the impact that he has made on the world and with his death, a huge hole is left in the MCU. I didn't want to discuss it this week, but now, looking forward, many people are wondering what is to happen to the Black Panther franchise after this. A lot of people are suggesting that Shuri should take the lead, just like in the comics, which I do think, to some capacity, the characters from Wakanda should return to the MCU in the future because they're so young and in the two short years that they have been in the MCU, they have proven to be very impactful and they have a lot of potential. So to see a Black Panther sequel honoring Chadwick Boseman and honoring T'Challa, I don't know what they would do if they would, if they would kill him off off screen or if they would somehow, I, I don't know how they would explain Chadwick Boseman's absence. And I don't even think that they would go down the CGI route, um, you know, you saw that 
um, after Philip Seymour Hoffman died, um, before Mockingjay Part 2 could be finished, they CGI'd him in. And they have done this with a lot of people. They did this with Graham Off Tarkin in Rogue One, and I think that they plan to do that even some more in the future. My thing is, I feel like the only way that they should CGI in Chadwick Boseman is if they were to give him a proper send-off. A meaningful, emotional send-off, which, whatever they decide, I know the Marvel Studios will make a smart decision, one that honors Chadwick Boseman without being disrespectful. I believe that they will find a, a way to carry on the characters of Wakanda and the nation of Wakanda itself. Because I think for Marvel to not touch Wakanda or those characters anymore would be a, a disservice to the brand, to the, I mean, Wakanda forever. That, that says it itself. I feel like Chadwick Boseman would want this world to continue on and prosper. And obviously, it will be really difficult to find a way to continue these characters in these stories without Chadwick. But think about that line. Think about Wakanda forever. I believe it will live on. I believe Marvel will make a good decision, whatever that is. Let me know your thoughts on what Marvel should do for Black Panther, the franchise, the nation of Wakanda in the future. But that is all we have this week for you guys. Groot, you have anything to say? I am Groot. That's what I thought. It's been real, guys. Let me know. Let's get a Marvel discussion in the comments below. Just remember, it's all connected.